Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to what hopefully is an interesting video for you because I didn't realise that there had been so many Wrestlemania dark matches. Now a dark match is where this is not shown on TV, so the only people that see these matches are people that are in attendance at the show. Uh, so I didn't realise there'd been 13 of them. Uh, and obviously there's not many pictures out there. Uh, I found out as much information as I could about them uh, and I put them all into this video. So we are going to have a look at and talk about all 13 WrestleMania dark matches. We have to go back to WrestleMania 6 for the very first one, which is Paul Roma versus the Brooklyn Brawler. Uh, I can tell you that Paul Roma wins. And what's cool about this is the Brooklyn Brawler is in the dark match at WrestleMania 7. Uh, so two in a row for the Brooklyn Brawler. Uh, at WrestleMania 7, he loses again, this time to Coco Beware. At WrestleMania 8, we get a tag match as the dark match. And that sees the Bushwhackers defeat the Beverly Brothers in a match that goes about 10 minutes in length. At WrestleMania 9, we get Tito Santana defeating Papa Shongo, uh, which is a real shame we never got this match on the main card. I always liked the Papa Shongo character, and uh, yeah, it's just a shame that this was a dark match, um, but very, very cool, all the same. At WrestleMania 10, we got the Heavenly Bodies with Jim Cornette defeating the Bushwhackers uh, in the dark match that year. Then there was no dark matches for a long, long time. This is because a lot of the matches were being shown on Sunday Night Heat uh, and uh, other programs that were just before the pay-per-view. So they didn't feel the need to give away a, a dark match when they could actually show the match. Um, so for that reason, there's no dark matches until WrestleMania 21. And then at WrestleMania 21, we get a Battle Royal that is won by Booker T. Some big names involved in that battle royal included Scotty Too Hotty, Hardcore Holly, uh, Tajiri, William Regal, The Hurricane, Viscera, Rhino, uh, Maven. So there was some, you know, decent talent involved in that. Uh, the next year at WrestleMania 22, we got another battle royal. This time it was won by Viscera. Uh, and some of the names involved here include Eugene, Goldust, uh, Lance Cade, Matt Stryker, uh, Johnny Nitro, uh, William Regal again. At WrestleMania 23, Carlito and Ric Flair took on Chavo Guerrero and Gregory Helms in a Lumberjack match. At WrestleMania 24, Kane won a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the ECW Championship. Uh, this had uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan involved uh, and The Miz, the Brian Kendrick was in there, uh, Cody Rhodes, the Great Carly, Tommy Dreamer, Mark Henry, Val Venus. Again, you know, some really good talent involved in that match. At WrestleMania 25, we saw the Colognes take on Miz and John Morrison. Uh, I believe this was like a title versus title match. And the winner would be the unified tag team champions uh, and the Colognes, which was Carlito and Primo at that time, were victorious. In WrestleMania 26, Yoshi Tatsu won a battle royal. Uh, again, some names involved here. Carlito, Chavo Guerrero, Chris Masters, D.H. Smith, Finley, Goldust, uh, Great Carly, Mark Henry. Um, again, you know, some really big names involved there. And then that brings us up to WrestleMania 27. We had two dark matches at this show. The first one being Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus in a United States Championship match. How amazing is that? Uh, I think it was a draw, so uh, I don't think the title changed hands. Um, and then the second dark match, and this is the last dark match that's ever taken place at WrestleMania, 
This was great. Carly won the Battle Royal. Um, Daniel Bryan was actually involved in this Battle Royal as well. So he was in both dark matches at WrestleMania 27. Uh, Drew McIntyre was involved. Evan Bourne, Ted DiBiase, uh, Johnny Curtis, Mark Henry, R-Truth, uh, D.H. Smith, Kurt Hawkins, uh, Jimmy and Jay Uso were involved as well. Uh, so very, very cool that all of these superstars have been involved in WrestleMania dark matches. It doesn't look like we'll have any dark matches again because obviously now we have the network so there's no reason for them to not show any matches so all of these little secrets uh, will remain secrets but at least we know about them now um, if you enjoyed this video give it a like hit the subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully see you again next time bye for now